in this lecture we will now start structures so what are structures structures are basically used for they are also kind of table which contains a lot of data so if we see here so this is a structure so it's a collection of variables so the collection is here so this is struct how we define it we use a keyword struct then we give the name of the structure and we open the parenthesis and then we write okay so what are the elements inside the structure so it represents a group and inside that group we write all the attributes so if it's a complex number so it will have a real part which is an integer and an imaginary part so this is a complex number so it's represented by structure and next thing is now what are the things we can do with structure so we define it like so struct then the structure name so here it's complex this is the structure name complex number then we open the parenthesis and we write all the data elements so it will have data 1 data 2 etc so this is how the data is stored and then we can access those data so we write the like c1 we can write then like variable so let's have a tutorial session on this so we define struct and then structure name so this is the one then we define all the data type then where one data type of next variable this is where two this will go on till data type where of n and then we close the bracket and then we can define a struct so struct name instance 1 So now this is instance one, and we can access instance one dot where one instance one dot where two like this till instant instance one dot variable n. So this is how we access. So now going back. to our structure so here we have a complex number now the thing is so and when we use type def so type def is basically to directly so that we can use complex as a variable name like int like long we can use now complex also that's why we have a complex so this now becomes a data type data type like int etc so our first function in this program it takes now so this is a function so of course it has to take some arguments so it takes complex c1 complex c2 as argument and it returns a complex number as return type and then what it does is then as we told so it makes a struct complex number temp 
and then temp.real it wants to access its real part so it's basically accessing two complex numbers adding them so temp.real is the addition of c1.real plus c2.real temp.complex is c1.complex plus c2.complex and then it returns the temporary variable so this basically tells us about a function which takes two arguments which are both structures of type complex and it returns also a structure complex now let's see the next function so this is now returning struct complex number here we could have written like just complex would also have been fine but this is more primitive way of using it and as we are learning so this is important then we are passing pointers to two complex numbers the structures and we make a temporary complex variable temp.real is now so to access c1 so this is something again we have to see so how to access so if we write struct complex number and then int real int imaginary and we also do uh, write here like struct complex number c1 and similarly c2 so now what happens is if we can access c1 dot real as it was told and c1 dot imaginary similarly we can access c2 dot real and c2 dot imaginary but let's see so what happens if i have like in the function i wanted to pass the pointer to the structure so let's say p c is equal to ampersand c1 then to access it so we either have to use star pc dot real and star pc dot am to access those variables other way is that if pc is the pointer so we can use arrow operator and then real and pc dot imaginary so both ways we can access so now this code explains that thing so c1 and c2 are pointers and so to access it so first is we can dereference c1 and then do real or we can do c1 arrow real so both ways are correct so so what we see is that now the third one is it is taking two arguments the pointers to two complex numbers and it is also returning a pointer to complex number so this is a complex temp and it is returning so temp dot real is i'm accessing the real part using star c1 notation and other one is c1 arrow complex so both ways are correct and finally we see that we are making a complex number c1 is equal to 1 comma 5 c2 2 comma 6 and then we call add complex number c1 comma c2 dot real add complex number c1 comma c2 dot complex so this is returning us values so we use the second one by passing pointers so now the thing is so one 
question that might come and in all the cases we see we are getting the correct result but which one is better so structure is a big thing it requires a lot of memory space it has one real and imaginary part so which one is the best so this is better passing argument as pointers because then we just pass the start address instead of passing the whole complete structure which is copying and it is a costly process so but is it good idea to return a pointer so we say that it's not because let's see why so we are making a structure temporary variable which is on stack then we do some computations and I am returning a pointer to the temporary variable which is now going to be lost so function when function returns all the temporary variable inside them are lost so if I am returning any pointer to it so I'm not very sure if I will be having that pointer for the memory location as correct so hence this is the best method way of writing when we pass structures and arguments so we should generally use the pointers because it is very costly in copying and but we should never try to return pointer to something which is a local variable inside a function body because after the return it is you are never sure whether it will be there so this is what it was shown in this code and now we are done with